Welcome everybody, it's Turbo Terramino here, and today's a great day because we're playing a game, a little game, that is called Little Town Hero. Uh, it's a game created by Game Freak, and apparently it's got some good is it ideas. It dis it's. It's okay. So I played this game a little bit last night. Uh, I just played through the first chapter to get a better idea of the game because I hear that the battle system is kind of complicated, but it is and it's not at the same time. So let's just get into it. I played the first chapter, but anything beyond the first chapter is all new to me. Up, up, down. All right, well, it's kind of slow, but it's okay. I didn't I didn't switch everything to uh, the Nintendo Switch. It's kind of on my PS4 delays, so. All right, let's go ahead and get into this. Let's start a new game. Now, Game Freak is the guys that also make Pokemon. Nintendo doesn't make, make Pokemon. Game Freak does, which is the first reason as to why I got interested in this game, and it looked cute. It kind of reminded me of something like Harvest Moon, Animal Crossing-esque. <clears throat> so today's the day, right? It's gonna be... I gotta figure out my voices. This boy is the main character. Please give him a name. Look, I'm not... Clever. Oh, that's what I want to do. Little boy turbo. Uh, turbot. Turboit. Turbot. There we go. Sneaky in the castle, huh? Even for you, that's crazy, you know? Heh, <laughs> thanks. It wasn't a compliment. Look, if your mom finds out, she's gonna flip. And we'll make sure she doesn't. Well, yeah, but... Whoa! You were right, it's opening. Told ya. Alright, do your thing, Nels. Help! Mr. Soldiers! What's the matter, young man? Your pants are on fire. The village! There's a fire! Hurry! I'll show you! A boy with pants on fire. He must be telling the truth. Take us there! Oh, God! Oh, Jesus! Okay. And now's my chance. This is my village. Everyone's here. Nice. The food's great. It's peaceful. I couldn't ask for more. Except... We can't go outside the village. It's been that way since before I was born. It's a promise the villagers made to the people in the castle who protect us. The only way to get out of the village is through the castle. That's why I want to go in. If I could talk to the ones inside, maybe they'll let me go on an adventure. That was yesterday. What were you thinking trying to sneak into the castle like that? And this is my mom. The people at the castle are busy. Don't you go causing them trouble. Sorry. Why on earth do you keep getting up into mischief? Just the other day, you... Oh, you little... Oh, looks like someone's here. Maybe it's Nels. 
you got him into trouble too, so say you're sorry to him. You hear that? Sorry. Fine. And don't you be late for work. Yep, yep. Chapter 1, Adventure Awaits. Finally, good to see you in one piece. Everyone's gonna have this accent in this game. This is my buddy Nels. No matter what happens, I can always count on him to be my partner in crime. Hey, Turbot! Your mom really let you have it, huh? Well, yeah, I'm sure the whole village could hear it. But you're excited about your next move, aren't you? I can see it on your face! Well, yeah! That's the spirit. Hang God's waiting for us. Let's go. New, a new day. The basics of battle. Uh, let's just go straight, because we'll, we'll get around everybody. Get out of the way, Nels. Heh <laughs> Turbo, you're late. You even got to slack off every chance like this? This is Maddox. He's... Ugh. You know what? He doesn't need an explanation. He's basically the Gary Oak of this game. Well, well. You re So you really came. I gotta figure out my old man voice. And this is Angard, a real soldier from the castle. I'm gonna train with him so he can be a soldier at the castle too. How do we get him to help us? I'll tell you later. Let's just start training already. <gasps> we'll get started with the basics in uh, so you don't get hurt. Are you ready? Sure. Alright, let's begin. Alright, that thing floating above your head is called an is it? An is it is an idea that you can use in battle. But at the moment, it's just a possibility. You can't use it yet. To utilize it in battle, you need to be sure of it. So we need to confirm what you want to do by pressing the A button. So we're gonna confirm this is it. That's it. Now your idea has substance. And this is called a dazit. You change an is it to a does it, you need power. There is a limit to how much power you have during each turn, or you have for each turn, so choose what you want to use your power wisely. In this game, you fight by colliding dazits with each other. Try it out with yourself by pressing the A button. Alright. Bang. There. You know what the Dazits collide? Okay, your Dazits break. You have an attack and defense for each Dazit. When your attacks, when your Dazits collide, the attack damage will oppose the damage um, defense. Once the defense reaches zero, the Dazit gets broken. Let's proceed to the next turn. So now he's got two. He's got two Izits. Excuse me, he's got two Dazits. All right, so uh, Turbot will come up with new Izzets and the power will be replenished. Try using a Dazit that won't get broken. So basically what we need to do is he's going to have a one of two attack. So this is only this will break, so we don't want to use that because his one will destroy our one in defense. So we're going to use this, the aim punch, so that our attack will destroy his light defense, light hit defense, and his will only knock our two down to a one. So we turn that Izzet to a Dazit, and now we attack. So we broke his Dazit. And now we can't use the Dazit again because it's been used. And it's... At least for this turn, we can't use it. So we're going to use this. We're going to use the remaining two power, which is a two in the center. The two is going to hit his three, and it's not going to break it, but he's going to break mine. Honestly, I had no idea what the hell this was when I was first doing it. Oh, 
Okay, so I already had the aim punch as a Dazit because I used it last time and it didn't break. So I still have it for this turn. So what we want to do is we want to make sure we have a Dazit at the end of this. That will still make sense. So we're going to use this. Then we're going to use this. And that'll break the second one with the, the slash because our attack is two. Its defense is two, so that'll break. He'll break mine. And then I'll have one power left over to use Fast Punch. So let's do that. We both should break. And then we're going to use this Strong Punch. We'll both break here. So I'll be in an all break. So that's basically when you've broken all the enemies' dazits. And this is where he can actually um, have the ability to damage his heart directly, directly. And you can only use the red Dazits at this point. I'm skimming through the tutorial and I'm just saying it myself. All right, here we go. Fast punch. And... All right, that's enough. Huh. I love that when you click the A after the end of the battle, it goes Reminds me of like old arcade style games. Huh, not bad at all. Looks like you have a knack for coming up with new ideas. That's a must for a soldier. Right, what are we doing next? Oh, let me take a rest for a moment. Oh, that's so unfair. I want to learn something too. Give me some time to rest. I'm not young like you boys anymore. Ah, come on. All right. Didn't I say resting? You must learn some patience. Now just be sure you remember our promise. What promise? Come now, it was just yesterday. Try and remember it. Uh, yesterday. Flashback. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Get out of here! Stupid Madlock! Maddock! You two are in big poo poo! What are you two doing? Hmm, Edgar came out of the castle right when I was about to go in. Maddock! Don't get in my way! Look, they closed the gates! Gosh, Maddock! So what? It's inside... It's against the rules to go inside the castle. So you two were trying to get into the castle, were you? Not me, just this idiot. I don't have time for this. I'm busy, so just get out of here. Great, thanks to your plan is to get to the castle's ruined. Look what you did. Even I ended up getting scalded. You're the one who got in the way! Phew, I was just scolded. Hey Nels, how's your butt doing? It's fine. I'm not dumb enough to get my get burnt on my own homemade fireworks. Hey, that soldier's look impress impressive. He's probably ranked pretty high. Whoa, really? A soldier like him. What are he's doing on a, a, here in the village? Hey, uh, I just remembered. I gotta go do something. Gotta go see you later. <laughs> see you later. The dang Gary Oak. All he ever does is get in my way. Man, like, always just wants to one-up you. He just went running after this soldier, I think. Why would he? So I can ask him if he let you in the castle before you. I could see it on his face. <gasps> Is that even possible? I don't know. It just sounds like something Maddox would do, right? All right, then I'm going to. Go get him. Wait, I thought I just did something where I was sliding. 
I guess not. Little boy, did you see where Maddox went? I saw Maddox running over there. Alright, well, thank you. I mean, there's only one direction to go, so... Look at the shine on this freshly polished blade. Makes me want to polish my whole life. Uh, okay. Oh, Terbit, can I have a minute? I bumped into Paz Pazmina. She's my childhood friend. Nice girl, but a bit of a nag. What's up? I just saw Mana go into the tavern. Miners aren't allowed in there. Right, yeah, I'm a miner. If Manic went in, then maybe the soldier went inside too. Hey, you aren't planning on doing anything stupid, are you? No way, I'm just got I'm just over here on an errand. My mom wanted a, a bullhorn to yell louder with. Uh-huh. Well, I've gotta get back to work at the farm too. Just remember, don't go in the tavern, okay? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Go back to the farm already. Turbid, make sure you don't go inside the tavern, okay? All right. Screw that, I'm going to the cheese shop, baby. Let me see some cheese. Oh yes, cheese it up, baby. Then you got some bottles of wine. Did I just see a roach on the ground? No. Yo, give me your finest cheeses, lady. Cheese is essential for our traditional cooking. Is it? Is it all you have to say? Okay. All right. So now we know that the cheese is the traditional for the essential for traditional cooking. What do you got to say, Graham? The cheese they sell here is a secret to my smooth skin. I bathe in it every day. Then they sell it the next day. That's how it gets its cheese. That's disgusting. Let's go to the tavern. So, uh, as I was saying, Mr. Soldier, certainly a soldier as cool as you could easily bring me into the castle. I told you seven times now, the answer is no. Hey, man, I'll get out of here. Miners aren't allowed in the tavern. Yeah, it's your bait. Why, you following me? Oh, great, another nosy kid. You here to beg me to take you to the castle, too? Oh, uh, wait, wait. You're, you're really taking me inside the castle? Yeah, so then I found Angard was in the tavern. No. Why do you want to go into the castle so badly anyway? Well, why, it's, uh, cause, uh, um, wait. Why do we want to go to the castle, Turbot? Look, going to the castle isn't the goal. I just want to see the outside world. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I just, just what he was saying. Hmm. Why the outside world? Wh why? Well... I've just been in this village forever. I'm just curious, I guess. Hmm. I could sympathize. But going... G but the outside world isn't a playground. It could be cruel. Even so, I want to see it with my own eyes. Well, unfortunately, there's no way I could bring you out there, so... Please? Absolutely not. If you're that serious, perhaps you could become a soldier. I could go outside if I become a soldier? Well, yes, maybe you shouldn't consider it so seriously. It requires hard training to be one, and you're too young anyway. Okay, then, train me. I'm gonna be a soldier. Ah, then, me too, I guess. Eh. Oh, give me a break, kids. I'm very busy right now. Busy drinking? Sure you have the time. You're drinking in a tavern. Boom. Guess you wouldn't mind if I told the people in the castle what you were up to, would you? What, you stinking little son of a- 
Oh, wait a minute. All right, fine, I'll train you. Really? Yes, but only on one condition. You must help me with my mission. What mission? Fighting monsters. Monsters? You mean? The ones from fairy tales? The big scary ones with teeth and hair? That's right, those monsters with teeth and hair. Wow, monsters are real? Of course not, you idiot. As you said, they only exist in fairy tales. Uh, then how do we fight them? So you see the problem. We can't. Which means I'm on an everlasting mission, or so they had me think. What do you mean? It means I've been banished from the castle under false pretenses. Huh, sounds like grown-ups have to deal with a lot. You've been banished? Great! That means you have tons of time to train us! Maybe I should turn my blue yeti down. Sorry if I'm a little loud, guys. Let me know if I'm too loud. Wait, I told you, there's only one condition! But you just said monsters don't exist! What I need you to do is simple. I'm sure someone from the castle will come by and check in on my mission. All you have to do is tell them I bravely slayed all the monsters, every one. Easy enough, isn't it? And what happens after that? Well, there are no more monsters. That'd be my... That'd be a job well done, wouldn't it? They'd have to let me back in the castle. Then who would train us after that? Don't worry, I'll tr I'll visit the village sometimes to train you, I promise. Okay. Since we still have time uh, until they come back to check on your mission, can you train us now? Uh, I suppose I can. But I'm a bit drunk now. Let's do it tomorrow. So, do you remember our promise now? Yeah, I got it. If someone comes from the castle, shows up. I just gotta say, you bravely took down a monster. Exactly. <laughs> now, uh, sorry, I probably spiked the mic there. <laughs> now that you remember, let's continue our training. Only you've been attacked so far, but fighting isn't simple. There's a lot more you need to do. Really? First and foremost, defense. You need to learn how to protect yourself properly. Hmm, defense, huh? Bring it. I love defending. Talk to me when you're ready. I'm ready, I'm ready. Yes, continue training. All right, let us begin. Look at the different color as up here. There are three colors, red, yellow, and blue. Yellow deserts act as shields. It can be used multiple times as long as they're not broken, but they cannot flick damage during a chance turn. Okay, so we're gonna use the shield guard. We break that. Uh, so let's use the fast punch. We'll break each other there. And then we'll use a shield and we'll break each other's stuff right here. Now you know how to use yellow dazits. about the blue ones which can be used like immediately it's a blue idea it's like an effect this is called pelt it deals one damage to all defenses so let's use that oh it wants me to turn that into a desert so do this first though because these all have one all destroyed <coughs> We did an all break, but since the remaining Dazit is yellow, we can't use it on a chance turn to actually attack his hearts. So that's the three. I don't think they have any more describing here. So if we use, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay. 
target. Yep, got it. All right, so if we use pelt, that'll be uh, that'll be one damage to everything. So light jab will get eliminated. Light hit and slash will get turned to one defense each. They do two and one. So my shield should be able to block the rest of the two. And then I'll use my one remaining or my two remaining power to use hard hit on his on his um, health. So let's use pelt. Then we use the guard. I'll drop my defense down to one. He'll break there. Turn that into a dazzit. Then we'll use the proper guard here. That's fine. It's an all break. We still have one red behind, which is hard hit. We'll hit his life points directly. Yeah. All right, that's enough. I like how he moon jumps at the end of the battle win. Like, he just floats for a minute. Now, please, everybody, listen to the sound effect. I'm not going to say anything. Just please listen. Perfect. I love it. Very good. You're a fast learner. <laughs> I already feel stronger. Yeah, right. Like you know the difference between a what's it and a do's it. Miss Dan, God, it's my turn. Please teach me the ways of the warrior. Oh, yes, yes, all right. Hey, wait, I can still keep going. You already had your turn. But we just started. I'm not tired at all. Turbot! Oh, no. Mom. What are you doing here? You'll be late for work. Oh, already? Turbot, get going. Go finish your duties. By the time you get back, my statistics will have sharply raised sharply. It didn't even make any sense. When I finish my work, it'll be no time. You just wait. I'll be back. Travel has been unlocked. Turbot is in a hurry. Use the travel icon. Go to the coal mines. Okay. Wrong one. The coal mines. The only thing I don't like about this game so far is like, if I go, I say here, I can't use the D-pad to actually switch around. I have to actually use the the joystick, which bothers me a little bit. Hey there, Tibbet. You're finally starting to look a bit more grown up. If Cole were here, he'd be so proud of you. Cole. It's my dad. He went missing when I was a baby. I don't know the reason why he left home, but he just never came back. Apparently he was really similar. Uh, he, used to say, he used to say he wanted to see the world all the time. That's why it's rumored that maybe he really did leave the village. Dad used to be a miner too, right? He sure was. The best I know. He helped me countless times. I meant to ask Turbot. The kid that tried to sneak into the castle the other day. Was that you? That was you, wasn't it? Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I knew it. You little rascal. You're Cole's son after all. Hey there, Turbot. Make it a good day today. These guys will just talk like robots, because they all look the same. You're late, Turbot. Everyone's already here. Okay. Into the coal mine I go. Hey, Turbot, how's it going today? Hey, Turbot, get ready. Get get to work if you're already you're ready here. That's not what I said. Turbot, wait a minute. Before I let you into work, I got to ask, what are the three rules of mining? Three rules of mining? What are they? Hmm, what's going on? 
read his mind. Huh? I can't remember in my mind. I'll just read yours instead. All right, I don't have that power to read people's minds. Sorry, I forgot. What? I told you to remember them. I tell everyone to remember them. Look, kid. The rules are important. I can't let you in the mine unless you say all three mining rules. Well, I'll have to just ask around. Okay. What's up? Three rules of mining. Of course, I remember. The first rule is say hello. You cannot be a decent miner if you can't even greet your team. That's it. Say hello. I gotta be polite. Learn the keyword. Say hello. Now, you want to know if I remember the three rules of mining? I used to when I was younger, but I can't remember anymore. <laughs> That's why something like take it easy or whatever. If you push yourself all the time, you can't be tiring, you know? Just gotta learn to relax a little. Take it easy during work. Well, that'd be great, but take it easy. Hey, Turbot, you're taking a break already? It's important to take rest, but you just got here. You got, to work, you got to work to help out your mom, you know. I'd rather be train I'd rather train myself to be a soldier to take rest. Okay. Yes, it's three rows in total, but should I ask around some more? Yes. Hi, Turbot. You ready to get Kraken? Kraken rocks, that is. <laughs> then let's do our best. Work hard today. That's right, work hard. Even I forgot that. Ah, three rules of mining. That's easy. Mining is dangerous work. That's why before you dig, you gotta check your tools. Ah, that's right. Check your tools. It's a safety procedure. Alright. Let's go. So, Turbot, do you remember the three rules now? I sure do, robot. All right, then. Recite all three rules for me. The first rule. Check your tools. That's right. It's important to check your tools. So what are the other two rules? Work hard, dude. Always work hard. Absolutely. We got to work hard. Okay, now for last rule. Say hello, bro. Correct. You have to say hello. Okay. <laughs> you got all of them right. Now don't forget them again. All right, man. Let's work hard. Huzzah. Yeah, it took me a couple times to do that last night. Again, I only played through chapter one to get an idea of, like, the basics for the battle because I heard it was kind of difficult, kind of not difficult. It's kind of, like, complicated just because the words, but realistically, it's, like, really simple. Oh. What's that there that's... What's sparkling over there? Eh. What the heck is this? Some kind of redstone? It's weird for us to find that in a mine. What are we, seven dwarves? The next day. Well, I've been feeling really energetic since yesterday, ever since I found that stone. I feel like i got to be able to be a soldier in no time. Aw, you look happy, Turbot. Yes, I am. I meant to ask. That man from yesterday is a soldier from the castle, isn't he? Yep. He's probably here on a important mission. Don't you go causing him any trouble. I won't. Anyway, I gotta go, Mom. Bye. Hey. hey, when you're not, I'm not done with you yet. That confidence of yours is what worries me. Listen, I just scolded you the other day. Don't you go causing trouble again for the people in this castle again. Okay, okay. Wasn't even what the text bubble said. Bye, Mom. Hello there, Turbot. It's a holiday today. Go have some fun. 
Sure, guy. Whatever. Hello, kids. Just stay close to me. If a monster shows up, I'll be there for you. There's no such thing as monsters, you know. Okay. Why is everyone talking about monsters? Old granny over here is probably telling crazy stories about monsters and stuff, making the kids not go to sleep at night. Jeremy! Yeah, what, what is my old lady voice? Hey, Jeremy! I don't know. Your friends are that soldier from the... I can't. I'm mixing voices now. Your friends are that soldier from the castle. Now that's impressive. Hold on. I always got to do my old person reset. I have to go, eh, and then there I can start doing, eh, okay. <laughs> Turbid anticipating something today, I can see it on your face. Turbid, you're late again. Meanwhile, I've gotten leagues stronger than you. <laughs> All thanks to Mr. Angard's training. So you want to prove it then? Come on, Gary Oak. Oh, that's enough now. Training is something you do daily to gradually hone your skills. You two are just beginning. You're not going to get stronger overnight. Yeah, Turbid, you listening? I don't know, I feel amazing today. I think I can even beat you, Vanguard. Huh, is that so? It's because you have confidence, but being arrogant is dangerous. Oh, yeah? Then why don't you try fighting me without holding back? No, no. There's no way I could fight a mere child with my full strength. I'll crush you beneath my thighs. But perhaps... Someone should bring you down a peg or two. All right, Turbot, you asked for it. All right, show me what you got. <laughs> Please have mercy. Yeah! We busted his butt. What? Oh, my back. Mr. Antgott, are you all right? Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, what happened, Turbot? What the heck did you do suddenly in order to crazy attack like that? Mr. Angod, about continuing my training. Oh, I do want to continue with your lesson, but... Oh, I think it might be difficult with my, my back like this. Hey, Turbot, because you got lucky and knocked down Mr. Angod, now he can't train me. My bad, dude. Well, then, that's it. You know what we have to do now? Turbot, fight me. Uh, why? If our teacher's down, beating you will be my training. Right, Mr. Antgod? I should be just as strong as Turbot. That'll be a piece of cake. Oh, maybe, perhaps you might be getting ahead of yourself. Besides, it's too narrow of a fight right now here anyway. All right, then, Turbot, we'll fight somewhere else. Come over when you're ready, if you don't chicken out. Man, I'm gonna whoop this guy's butt. How can you get so strong in just one day? Shh, Turbot, go easy on him. I'm not. I'm gonna wipe the floor with Gary Oak. Are you ready? Yes. I can tell you playing this docked, I'm getting a lot less um, slowdowns. I was getting, like, the audio would actually slow down when I was playing it in handheld mode last night. To avoid damage from Matlock's attacks, during this turn, try using Tight Guard to protect yourself. On the next turn, you'll come up with a new idea, so you have a total of five to work with again. Use Tight Guard to endure this turn. So it's unlocked. He's got 3-2. So it'll take him both of his divots to be able to knock down my shield. Energy level the redstone raised. It raises every turn. You get one attack power, one extra power to use in the following turns. Change of location. 
So what's cool is like you'll end up moving around the town and you'll see other people on the map and um, depending where you land they'll have like different like buffs and stuff and anti-buffs that they can use. I just realized the stone equates the amount of power that we have even though I just read that. Looks like you come up with the idea called dash guard during this turn. There's a special effect that works when you successfully break an enemy's dazzit. Try using dash guard and see what happens. Gain free mobility. Allows you to choose your next location within range. So, I mean, I can use this to get an all break is what it was saying. There's no other way around it, so we'll just use this. Yeah. See one break point. You can use those in a pinch. Time to change our location. Look, Nels is nearby. It seemed like all of my mobile battles took around 10 turns, roughly. Turbot, I think I came up with something. Let me know if you want me to try it out. All right, so we're going to hit L for support. Oh, well, tutorial will tell us to. Allows a random is it to be a change from the deck changed to a dazit at zero cost. Is it is the idea, a dazit is the actual action. Gain one improvised idea. Might as well use it now. So, Scare makes enemy lose all special effects on their Dazits. Not that important. Lowers the enemy's Dazits defense to one. Okay, so that's going to be good. Let's use this. So, this should break both of his stuff. We'll still have two points afterwards, and we could probably use, like, Destroy. Yeah. Let's actually unlock him now. So I turn those uh, isits into dazits, those ideas into actions. Or oh, I forgot that won't be a break. Well, that stinks. We won't get an all break then. acting real tough, but he's got his weaknesses. Thanks, little boy. When ideas are um, used, they disappear. You gotta make sure you don't run out of ideas. You go into headspace. <clears throat> Check your old ideas. So go into headspace. This is what we have left in rotation. And then if we want to, like, the whole lot. We have to use these break points in order to revive them. Uh, so I should be able to do tough guard. If I use tough guard, that'll break both of his. He's got a two and a two, and that'll break mine, which is fine. That should give me an all break. And then let's do... Um, slam and make that into a dash because we're going to get four power next turn. Yeah. 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 Alright, 
Alright, so now we got an all break. Life points directly. Ah, oh, my heart. So we've got two Dazits. We have more. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 so, we'll break this. And then we want to keep that. So, we'll break this here. I guess I should have um, used my power on these things. have uh, holes in his pants on his knees or is he getting that because he's getting his butt whooped three one yeah see i should have added those the tough out and the psych up with my power from the last turn so let's go into headspace Exploit. Uh, damage the enemy's hearts. So we want to do that now. Swap it out. That costs a BP, but that's fine. He's got one health point left. I attack your life points directly! that sound effect. Eh. That was an even fight. Not bad, Turbot. Was it really, though, dude? Oh, you did pretty well. Ha 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 ha, my back. Mr. Angard, are you alright? Hey, Turbot. What if a monster comes while Mr. Angard's injured? He's in no shape to fight. I don't want to fight a monster even when I'm healthy. But that was pretty impressive, Turbot. How did you have some... You seem to have some kind of power. Turbot? Oh, Mom's calling. Sir, I hope that it's not my son's fault you're hurt. Oh, oh this is embarrassing. Turbot's blow was so strong it knocked me over. I think I can't work with an injury like this, so... I was gonna ask Turbot if he'd do my job for me. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> I'm terribly sorry for the trouble he's caused. <laughs> Wait, it, it, this isn't what you... Your son's quite formidable. Turbot? It, it's almost dinner time. I'm sure you're hungry. I've cooked your favorite for dinner. Come home soon, okay? The calm before the storm. Your mom is the scariest even when she suddenly turned so unnaturally sweet. It's a calm just before the storm. I guess I gotta go home and try not to get blown away. See you all tomorrow. See ya.
See you later, Turbot, if you're still alive. I will be. Alive just as cool as my sideburns are. Death awaits me. Oh, game froze for a second. Mom, I'm home. Uh, what's for dinner? You think there's going to be dinner? Yikes, here comes the storm. How dare you hurt that poor gentleman? Uh, it just sort of, uh, it was a sort of an accident. No excuses! Gee, she's yelling so loud, I feel like the ground is shaking. I'm sorry, never again. You have to learn to... Huh? Hey, the ground is really shaking. It's an earthquake. Mom, I gotta check outside. It's a monster! What, what the heck is that? A monster? Miss Tangon, I thought you said monsters don't exist. <laughs> Impossible. Turbot, run! He's gonna fight it. Hey, don't be stupid. Run! I have to do this. It's my fault Rengar can't fight now. Alright, this guy was a little tough last time I fought him. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got some support. They end up having guts, so it's basically like a shield, so you gotta break the shield before you can get to the hearts. No effect. Okay. Oh, because it's gotta be Dazits. All right, so I got three. Um, tough Guard can endure the two attacks. And then, oh, fart. Okay, so. No. Let's just do this one, I guess. See, I don't know if her effect stays. Dash guard. Gain free mobility. Doesn't matter, because I can't... I can't use it, so... This will still exist next turn, though. Oh, jeez. There we go. So now I can do a break on both, but it doesn't matter because I don't have enough power to actually do any attacking, but... I think if I get an all break, I get a break point anyway. And then I'll still have enough to have this for next turn, which is good. Oh no, he broke it. Never mind. Yeah, so I still get a break point, so... The first couple turns are like really just like focusing on defense. Oh sweet. Here we go. Get to go to Nels. I need new earphones. Alright. Allows a random is it to be changed to a Dazit at zero cost. So an idea to an actual attack without using any power. So let's see what he does. All right, so we got the slam. Okay, so we have an attack ready. If we do dash guard, that's one power. We can use firecracker, and we can also use improvise in the background. But the problem is... I'm really stuck because, uh, I'm gonna have to do this. So let's switch Firecracker with, um, Pelt. That's gonna use my BP point. So let's switch to this. That'll kill two of his attacks. 
then I should be able to use Dash Guard to destroy his punch and do the existing slam to actually deal on his uh, guard. Yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Uh-huh. I got gotcha. you. Thank you very much. So we should be able to break this here. But we should probably power up two Dazits before then. So let's do this. Actually, we'll just do one. And then we'll do this. What does this do? And then we'll use this. Oh, I probably should have got the dash guard first. Back here. Free mobility. Chance turn. We'll use the slam. Break that shield on him. Guard is great. It's going to cost all three, but it's fine because we still have Slam in the background. So let's use that. So I have Tight Guard for the next round. Back up, but we got to move to four power. Give me two, baby. Give me two. Give me two. Give me two. Nice. We're gonna end, land on whatever that is. Okay, so we get hard. He's got a lot of stuff right now. Turbit. Don't get intimidated by your size, just defend yourself until you find a chance to fight back. That's not good. I needed to use that for this turn. Okay, so... I got four. Game one improvised idea. Please let it be that... Heavy guard. Yeah. anything else. You might as well just get that open. Alright, so... <clears throat> Unfortunately, that's not going to break that thing. I don't think I'm going to get an all break on this one anyway, no matter what I do, so... turn into additional ones when they're broken. So, I really don't want to lose that. I'd rather lose this one.
That stinks. I can't use hard guard here. So I've got four power. If I do this, we'll break that. And then I unfortunately have to sacrifice the slam to break his last one. That'll at least give me a BP point, but I'm not going to be able to attack him. I guess once you use your little support system, then it's done. Because I'm not seeing anyone else on the map that uh, I've already used. So I am running out of ideas. So in order to in order to revive my ideas, I need another BP point. So I have to all break him this turn, or else I'm going to be really screwed. So. And I don't know how I'm going to do that because I only have... Yeah, this is going to suck. Alright, so I've never had to use Struggle before. A half chance of dealing one damage to an enemy's Dazit. Receive attack directly to your own body. Okay, so that means I kind of like attack, but I'm going to not be able to deflect an attack. Um, so, if I... That's going to break... That's gonna break. I can't use this. Next round, I'm gonna get five. Power. So I'm gonna have to suffer through this. He might be able to break my guts, but he may not be able to get to my hearts. We'll break the one that has the highest attack. Give me a one, baby. The last thing I want. Now we gotta go to Malik. He deals three damage to the body. Of course. So, I'm gonna have to do this. Let's see, one damage, two damage, three damage, four, five, six damage. I might be able to pull out the entire time. really dangerous. I need an all break in order to get another break point so I can refresh my ideas. Which I hope I should be able to. <clears throat> the problem is his thing's gonna turn into another thing after that breaks. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Hopefully has a one defense. Okay, good. All right, I think I got very lucky here. I got very, very lucky. Yeah, I'll break at least. I won't be able to attack, but at least I have a two break points, which I can refresh my ideas. I'm saving Merrick for later because I can't attack his light points right now anyway. So. If 
Revive the ideas. Okay. Heavy guard. I at least can be able to break both. Mm, I won't break that last one, actually. It's the best way to protect myself right now, so I at least won't get hit. And yeah, my guts are skyrocketing. I'm just biding our time until the uh, power gets higher so I can do more attacks. That's a two, that's a three, so that's my five. That would be a waste on that one. I could do this, that'll take that down to two. Unfortunately, I'm just gonna have to do these two attacks. I don't have an option, unfortunately. They're not shields. That sucks. That's going to be four to my guts. started. I don't think I can go anywhere down here. Yeah. This gives me a sucker punch. Adds cost four power. knows it might be his weak point try to punch it maybe okay <clears throat> sucker punch his nose and it's in the headspace all right so let's look at that so we already have our attack we really might as well just do all these but one of these is uh gain one idea it's all daz it's adds to it improvise one idea damage one so let's do Let's do this one first. Heavy Guard, Hurricane, deals two damage to all enemy Dazits. I wish I looked at his Dazits first. I think that's gonna be good. So we'll use this. That'll destroy all of his Dazits. That'll flip into another one, which is fine. We have three more, so let's turn all these to Dazits. I'll use Firecracker. I'll destroy that one. Tough guard. We've got an all break, so at least we've got a BP point. We do have the option to hit his guts. Take this, guts! We get his life points exposed. I think I got three. No, I didn't. That was the last turn. Ah. Uh. This isn't good. 
good. Okay, so... We can unlock everything on the board. So what does this do? Add one random... Add to one random disit when made into a dazit. I say dizit, I mean dazit. Okay. Same thing. We're gonna add... We're gonna... We're gonna add two of these anyway. Because we have enough power to do so. Alright. So. This one does six damage. It's gonna break anything we put in front of it. The other one does six damage. It's gonna break anything we put in front of it. Pelt does one damage to all things. This adds one to all Dazits. Uh, let's save that for now. Let's save this for now. Let's just use our two shields and let's just, um, that'll break that. Okay, so they'll both break. We'll at least get an all break on here. Okay, that's fine. So we have an all break, so we should be able to attack his heart. Then, if this gives me a BP, I'll do the same strategy strategy I did to Matic. exploit I need four so it's not gonna happen I thought I can kind of work my way around it all right so we have enough to do both of these gain one idea to all dazits so let's do it now Deals one damage to all of them. It's not going to destroy them, though. Oh, yeah. Dash guard. That'll save us from something, I guess. Huh? This is a dangerous turn. Tight guard. Gonna destroy that. Well, we don't have enough to defend, so. That won't break it, but we won't be able to use it again, and that is one of his higher ones, so. We got an all break on this guy. Too bad we don't have any other extra attacks, though. But I'll take it. Let's go to uh, Maddox. Let's use our last guy on the board. Two, two, two. No dupes. Let's go, Maddox. We have left. All right, so we can get everything on the board. Three, four, five, six. So let's just make these all dazits. All right, now let's think about this. He's got one attack that'll knock it down to four. One attack and knock it down to three, four, and he'll knock it down and break it. But this is plus two to attack. It'll destroy, destroy, destroy. So you should get an all break here. 
Fingers crossed. Let's see what happens. Yep. All break. All right. We beat him. Charge throw slam. Let's just do charge. See? Yeah! Go knock down the tower. It's funny, I killed him in the same spot the first time I played through. Now wait for the perfect sound effect. Yes. Yes. Uh, I think I beat it. So that was a monster? It certainly was. I suppose that means that my mission is real after all. Turbot, well done. <laughs> well, he's, he's not bad, I guess. I'm, I'm still just as tough, though. Then you can fight the next one. Okay? Huh? Is everyone all right? Uh, someone's coming. So this is a monster. To think they really exist. It's not moving. Is it dead? Ah, oh, the research is from the castle. Sir Angard, incredible work. We are amazed you were able to defeat this monster like this. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, yes, I mean. Uh, we must take the body back to the castle for further research. And please, everyone, don't worry. Sir Angard, the powerful, will protect you all. Good day. There we go. The adventure I hoped for never began. Instead, strange things started to happen in my village. Chapter 1. And this is where Turbo stopped playing. Everything is new to me at this point. Yeah, see, I stopped. Chapter 2. Yes. Actually, I forgot. We went through the intro. I went through the intro in chapter two. So I was like, do I want to keep playing? This is a good place to stop. What? Oh, you mean uh, a monster, really? Yes, it seems so. Oh, God. Oh, good Jesus. Is the people all right? Yes, your majesty. I sent Angar to the village for the moment. I heard the rumors about monsters. No, God, and God is the perfect for the job. Good thinking. Continue to do work. Make sure our people is safe. Of course. I shall head to the village now to see how the people are faring. Oh, God, yes, please do. One thing I don't like about these automated things, like, now I have the arrow so I can hold it, but they go really fast. They go really slow, and there's nowhere to change it in, like, the settings or whatever. To think monsters really exist. Yeah, it was scary, but we pulled through and won somehow, right? <laughs> Don't say it like it was no big deal. And how on earth did you end up fighting something like that? I know you're getting trained, and that was dangerous. I could manage fine. Not sure how it works, but as long as I have the stone, I'm really strong. The stone you found in the coal mines? That sounds unlikely. What if you're wrong and you get hurt? Oh, someone's here. I'm off now. See you later. I don't want to talk to you anyway, Mom. Bye. Hey! <sighs> I guess boys will be boys. I'll just scream at them later. Hey, Turbot. You pretty much saved the village. Although, you have to admit, we were pretty awesome ourselves. This guy here is... is bitter that you got to be the hero for the day. I'm not bitter. 
If Turbo can do it, so can I. No big deal. Yeah, yeah, anyways. It looks like the minister is here for a visit from the castle. Whoa, really? I bet he's here to praise us for our, her uh, her heroics, right? Yeah, definitely. Let's go find him. The monster wasn't really a big deal. Yeah, okay, dude. Turbot, excellent work yesterday. Although I have to admit, I was, uh, surprised monsters exist. Yeah, I was shocked too, but hey, we managed to beat them, right? So about our promise, you remember, right? The monster? Exactly, the promise of telling you how I had vanly slayed the monsters. Uh, well, you don't have to do that anymore. I don't? Yes, I asked you to do so because I didn't think they exist, but they do, and... No, you're the one to defeat it, and that's the honest truth. <laughs> I'm not dishonest to take somebody else's credit. I just want to return to the castle so there'll be no more monsters, so I should be able to do it. As a reward for beating the monster, you think they'll let me be a soldier? I think it's too soon to get your hopes up, but the minister from the village is here now. Why don't you let him know what you did when he stops by? Okay, see you later. Are you gonna see him too? Oh, of course so, but it's your child. I'm not proud of to meet him like this. Oh, sorry. I think I needed excuses to why I couldn't fight first. Ha 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 ha. Okay. So this is where I stopped when they started mentioning side quests. Can you see the icon on the top of the girl's head? I mean, she has a quest for you. There's two types. Red is main and blue is side. How wonderful. Talk to her and see what she has to say. Hello, little girl. If only I can try on the clothes at the general store. But I'm too shy to go in alone. The general store? That's Miss Taylor's shop. You want me to go with you? You'll come with me. Sure, it's no big deal. Thank you. We can't go now because there's a people in front of the castle and they're busy. So let me go another day, okay? Sure. That's a promise. Someday we'll get to go together. Hee hee. Okay. Uh, I can chest the. Oh. 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 Everyone. Okay. Everybody wants a side quest. Everyone's got side quests. Find the minister. Okay. <laughs> There's just scraps of paper. A little girl's wish. Okay, so let's um, collect the other ones, I guess. I don't know if any of these are, like, time sensitive. I mean, there's only three um, checkboxes on that crumpled up scrap piece of paper, so. Goodbye, cheese granny. Goodbye. I saw you had a green bubble with a smiley face on your head. Do you have something to say? Turbo, something's happened! The scarecrow over there were talked. At least I think it did. Are you crazy, lady? Are you losing your mind? That scarecrow? Yes, I just reported it to his shoulder because it's plain and creepy. Why don't you have a look as well? I guess so, I mean, but I don't want him talking to me because it's weird. What is he... A scarecrow can't talk. Oh my gosh! Who are you? I've never seen you before. What's your name? My name's Margo. I was just taking a nap. Why are you sleeping in here? Where's your home? I live near the farm, but it's not comfortable there. I prefer sleeping in the field. Really? Are you just scaring people here? You just got a lady believing that the scarecrow talks. I'm sorry, I'll sleep in the field near the farm from now on. You really should sleep at home. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you dare! 
Pulling pranks again, I see. You shouldn't be doing that. Pranks? There was a report from a concerned villager. The scarecrow here talks. Oh. That's this girl. But... Where does she go? Catch your motive. This is not a prank. Why do you keep talking to the scarecrow? Aha. Uh -huh. I got it. You're visualizing, aren't you? What? what you, what's that, visualizing? It's a form of image training. You mentally prepare yourself for the battle, playing it out of your head. Okay, so I suppose I... To pretend this is the enemy? Yes. I did that in my you too. I use wooden mannequins for the training grounds for the castle. I see, so it's a valid training method. Absolutely, you should do it sometimes. Okay. Now stop talking to the scarecrow. You scared the villagers. I wasn't! You now visualize the scarecrow. Help you gain Eureka points. It's worth trying out once in a while. Okay, let's talk to the scarecrow. Do we get Eureka point? Eureka points? Eureka! New opinions added. What should I do? Oh, what's this? Visualize what's that. Try out an idea. Revisit the basics. Challenge a monster. I don't know if this is just like tutorial training. So like, this is like earned Eureka points. <laughs> So this is going to tell me what it is. This is going to have me try out an attack. This will probably put me in the tutorial. This is just going to let me fight? Fight which monster? Oh. We'll do this later. We just had a really long battle, so... Let's try to, like, talk to people and stuff. This also kind of reminds me of, like, uh, Dark Cloud 2 as well. Like, kind of, like, peaceful, running around, like, some nice, good-looking, like, colored backdrops. Okay, so this is, a uh, nothing. I wish I could get behind the character a little bit more. Like, for the camera angle. Like, when I'm here, I can go down a little bit more. Hey, Turbot. The minister is at the main street. I just saw him. Okay. What's this road? The cheese shop. The old lady's making cheese again. That guy is gonna block me, I'm sure. Hey, Turbot! I hope you're not on your way to the castle to sneak in again. No! Why are you standing there? He's probably in the tavern. I don't want to go in there yet. Oh, the shop. What's the shop? My wife loves cheese here. Okay. Oh, it's my friend. Hi, Pasmina. You here for the cheese? Hi, Turbid. No, not today. I came to discuss a few matters about our milk. Looks like the farm is keeping you busy. Uh, let me get around. I want to talk to the lady. I don't want to go all around. I had to go all the way around the cheese. You got something good to say? Our shop sells seven different kinds of cheese. Yellow, green, white, brown, off yellow, off green and also green. Okay. Oh, side quest boy. Hello, Turbo. Can you listen to a story? Yeah, sure, I guess. Let me change your voice before you do a whole story. The man, I'm, uh, the story I'm about to tell you is a slice of history about this village. You know the commercial area where the shops are? What you call the main street? Back in the day, there weren't one. In fact, there was nothing. The land was bumpy and rough. Oh, look at all these shops! This is so much better than I thought it was. But then, 
we found a coal mine and people started moving here and the population increased. That led to the development of the village. The neighborhood you live in always has been the residential district for the miners that work here. It was the only area that had a good enough environment to house people. Now all sorts of people live there and the locals call it the neighborhood out of habit. The farm used to be a vast field of grass. Only wild animals and insects live there. Now it's all fixed up so we can keep sheep and chickens and grow our vegetables. So you saw all that happen in real time? Nah, it wasn't that recent. I heard it from my grandmother, which heard it from his grandmother, a grandfather. Oh, it heard it from his grandfather too. It wasn't grandmother, it was grandfather. You're making me lose track of my history. Such a long time ago. Yes, it is. The village today was built from the hard work of our ancestors and they did their best to make it a good home. Now that you know, don't you appreciate the village more? I think it's my mission to educate our youth of our history. Thanks for giving me your time. I'll be around here whenever you feel like talking to me and I can go off on a tangent about the history of your town. Alright. Uh, so we got two quests done, right? Oh. Oh, there's extensions of it. Oh, okay. Oh, visualize ogre. I kind of want to beat him now. That's main quest. It's a main quest guy. Let's go here. Is that the minister? Ugh, I didn't want to talk to you. Hold it. I'm sorry, but I can't let you pass. This road is closed for now. I wasn't trying to go down that road. Come on, let us through. I want to go through that road. We're the ones that beat the monster. And we'll tell the minister. You're the kid that tried to sneak into the castle the other day, aren't you? Well, I'm not falling for it this time. Now go home, fire pants. We persistently told the soldier that we were the ones that beat the monster over and over. All right, stop it already. I don't care how many times you say it. I'm not letting you by. Oh, darn it. Yelling at a bunch of children. Should have known that would make me hungry. Hey, Turbot, listen up. That soldier doesn't look like he's going to let us through easily. We need a plan. Hmm. He said he's hungry, right? Maybe we can use that to our advantage. Go talk to the people around and gather some information. Once you come up with a plan, come back and let me know. Just get the old dirty granny cheese. Alright. Are you settling your pants on fire again? Okay, so that's main quest. That guy's there. Um, Probably cheese shop. What did I want to do? Let's go fight that ogre. Honestly, no. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I don't think he lets me past here. Can I go past you? No. All right. Let's go to the cheese shop. Same text. Okay. Cheese isn't an option. I can go for a wheel of cheese right now. But that's just me. Let's go to the tavern. A stiff drink after work is the best thing in the world. You are too young to be going in the tavern. Is there somebody behind the... The throwing knives at this wanted poster of somebody. Face is ripped. Looks like they have a cellar. Alright, so nothing in there. It smells like flowers all of a sudden. 
Ew. It's Miss Taylor. She owns a general store. I can smell her perfume all the way from here. But it's still nothing compared to the smell of a nice hot meal. Maybe I can use that smell as part of my plan. Learn the keyword smell. Okay. I won't be duped by your silly pranks of pants on fire. Now, go, leave. Okay. So I wasn't sure if I was going to get any ideas. I'm just going to bring this to, uh, what's his name? Knots, whatever his name is. Nels. Let me go into the cheese shop now that smells is an idea that I have. Nothing. 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 Okay. Cheese has to be an option. It has to be an option here. to get that thing, the um, the idea of smell, a little cutscene triggered. So let's go throughout the town again and see if we can run into anything else. Don't do anything dangerous. Why do I have a feeling that green stone is going to do something? I guess not. There's a big green stone on the wall. Okay. That cat didn't come here for a while. Okay. So, I don't know what else there is to do, so let's go fight the, uh, the guy right now. Challenge a monster. The Hulk Ogre. You hear how the audio, you hear that audio cutting in and out? It happens more frequently on, uh, That does one. Oh, well, I'm not going to be able to break that. Oh, we'll use this. So, unfortunately, this still won't break it, but... Right now, 
sucks I don't have it. So this will break that. Break one more thing. That's great. Alright, so let's just use this now. Just get down here. I'll use this. Oh, he's still gonna break it. That's fine. At least be able to attack his guts. <clears throat> Take this in your guts. Your eight pack. One to all ideas in the current turn when made into a Dazit. Close guard and boom. Nah, this one's great. We don't have to use it now because we can use this. This will survive the two attacks. Well, no, it's going to break on the next attack, but it's going to break his two, is what I meant to say. 
and then I should be able to attack. <clears throat> Hopefully they do put a patch um, that will fix these uh, like little audio glitches. And run through his legs. Hee 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 hee. Trying to see if I get that sucker punch. Ah. The theory thing is gonna stink. All right, so he. Close guard, firecracker. So I have enough to do close guard in charge. Of, yeah, we need close guard regardless. Great. Okay, we'll destroy something heavy. <clears throat> Alright, so. I should be able to attack his guts now. My shield will break after this sequence, but... Yeah, because he's got three to attack, which is fine. I still should be able to attack him in his guts. Wait, what happened? I thought I had the guts. What happened to my gut attack? Maybe I didn't break his thing. Maybe that's what happened. Toy bait. Don't get intimidated by his signs. Just defend yourself until you get a chance to fight back. Get out of the way, little girl. There's a big monster over here that I visualized on my own. He's made up in my mind. Headspace. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Ooh, this is gonna be bad. Okay. Let's see how we can survive this. This is only damage one. Which only one can be... Yeah, I'm... Dumb that it still doesn't break his thing. Well, it's a struggle, I guess. Why would it? Because <laughs> I got no more... <clears throat> no more ideas. Hard guard. Okay, so... That's three, four, five, six, seven. Plus his extra thingy. I guess if I use this to break that, I'm just not going to have the ability to make an attack on him, which is fine, but I should be able to get an all break after this, because that's his highest attack, and we need the BP points so I can refresh my ideas. I gotta sacrifice it. Okay. Be mobility so I can go to someone else too. There's no use there's no reason to use nulls right now as a support because it'll be wasted because it'll just turn this to a zero and I've got nothing else to use my power on at the moment. 
so there's no reason to use them. This thing will turn into another 1-1. One, one. So, okay, ooh, that's a 2-1. Two, uh, two, four, five. I should be able to last. They all have one defense, so, and I have two attacks, so these should all be beaten. Well, the other one has two, actually. Huh, I still have the hard guard. Crazy. Thank goodness. Sucker punch. That's fine. Better than nothing. Hey, Turbot! Look at that arch nose! It might be his weak point. A punch in there! Thanks, man. Your ideas are the greatest. It's an angry man. Yeah, let's uh, refresh. Of course, all of my guards are down here. This isn't gonna end well. So I got five points. Um, I can use this, that'll break that. And I needed something at least a four to break his three. So this will give me a four to attack. And then I can do this to actually attack his... Mm. Wait, this is also a four. So if I do the heart guard, that'll break his punch. Then he's gonna have a four, three. I can use this. That four will break my shield. I will break through his shield. And then I could use... Sucker Punch. No. I will have two, so I can use this. That'll get me and break through his guts. Okay. So this one. And this one. At that point, I might as well just have this, too. Okay. So now we want to do this. That'll break him. He'll break mine, which is fine. I think I did the wrong one. That's okay. I'll break. I should get a BP. Get a chance turn. Maybe I don't get a BP. Uh, right here. Destroy. Twos. All right. <clears throat> what does Tight Guard do? Getting one improvised idea. We definitely want Tight Guard. So let's just get that now. Close Guard. Scare. Plus one to all ideas in the current turn when made into a desert. Oh, it's too late now. Let's just do this. Let's see, so we'll break that. Okay, I'm gonna... I'm going to have to lose one of my attacks. But it's fine. I've got two. Because these two will break. And then this one... Oh, this one won't break. Yeah, okay. So save this one. No, wait. I need to break it. Yeah, break it.
And then we'll need to do like this. Because that won't break it. We need to do this, then I can use this to attack. He's got to do some special stuff. He has the purple below his feet. Okay. Erases all the enemy ideas, special effects, and deals two damage to all enemy Dazits if the enemy Dazit breaks. So that's going to be pretty good to use. <clears throat> tough out. Okay, so we're going to break each other's shield here. Well, let's see. We'll do this one. We'll destroy all the special effects on the other ones, I think it said. So then we might as well just do this because it's not going to break anything. It's got no attack. Okay, now we're talking. First, we're going to end him on uh, Maddox uh, Square. Ooh, maybe not. <clears throat> He's going to pump those things up. Let's have Maddox kick him anyway. It's not going to do anything, but still. Oh, it took his heart away! Yo, Matic! You got him, bro. You killed the monster after I heavily weakened him. That's good to know. Because I thought he only took away the guts. But that's good he actually doesn't attack like that. Alright, so do I get, like, Eureka points? Like, what was that for? Phew, I think the training was effective. Gained one Eureka points. Okay, we unlock Eureka points. You can use Strengthens Turbot's Ideas access through the main menu. Ooh. Eureka! Oh my gosh! There's so much stuff! What's the biggest one? Strengthens Effect of Throw. One defense to throw. Two to charge. Okay, I'll tell you what. Fortify Guts. Ooh. All right, so we're starting here, so it's probably best we do this, right? Five Eureka points. Strengthen the effects of Improvise. Uh, fortify Tough Guard. Oh, let's do this. Wait, so that's one. That's three total. Four. Five. Tough Guard. Nah, let's do this. Hmm. I have to go down here. Yeah, get these tough guards up, because that's like something that I use constantly. And then we'll save this for sight guard. Because that's three costs. So I'm assuming if I get them by fives. It's fine. No, it's a point that we get this defense up. Okay, awesome. Sweet, we got some leveling up. Now we still have to find out how to get the uh, the dang idea with like the smell and stuff. 
So I guess let's just talk to everybody. I talk to you. Where's my father? Oh boy, what are you doing? Did you really beat the monster? They're so cool. Thanks. Okay. We talked to old granny over there. There's nothing else that we can do down here. Oh, maybe we talk to Vanguard. Ministers by the shops. Thanks, old man. There's nothing in that field. The ministers is the main street. Okay. I haven't talked to this kid yet, though. I my first curry coquette recently. It was so yummy. Yeah, they're really delicious, right? I get cravings and I go a few days without eating one. I want to eat them every day. Oh, curry croquettes. Okay. Is that enough? No. I'm not putting my my pants were never on fire in the first place, dude. Sometimes I hear a cat meowing around here, but I can't see it. Okay. Granny? These plants are so easy for a ch child to climb. Yeah, it'd be useful again climbing planks. Ugh. There's been a cute stray cat wandering around here in this area. A stray cat? Yeah, and when you're petty, so I got some cat food to lure it out. Using cat food as bait to lure it out. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, I hope it comes out. Luring a cat with food. Wonder if that kind of plan might work somewhere else. Daz it! I think uh, it's a good idea. Let's go back to Nell's. So we're gonna lure out the man with food. Ah, can't believe it took me so long to figure that out. Uh, let's see. Smell. Smell? Smell of what? Try again. Oh. Okay, so lure. Okay, so then we'll do the curry, curry croquette. Why curry croquette? Smell. And then lure them out. Cat food. Let's go buy some curry croquettes at the curry shop. Man, this game will get so much better if I can actually change, like, outfits and stuff. That'd be really cool, but I don't think it's going to happen. Monsieur Curry. Oh, wait, that's me. I'm oh, sorry. Mr. Curry! Curry croquettes, please. Welcome to be tea. Will three be splendid enough for you? Make it four. I need an extra for my plan. Plan? Heavens to Curry. Oh, you boys are up to mischief again, are you? Well, even so, anyone who likes Kirikuts is a good person. Please wait a moment. Try to go French. I can't keep French up. Curry, curry, yum, yum, curry, yum, yum. Enjoy. Oh, I should have took a picture of that with my Switch. Yay. Yay, let's dig in. Oh, no, no, no. Ooh, that was tasty. Yeah, super tasty. I wonder why they're so good. Oh, because I'm using my mother's secret recipe with my country's traditional spices. Your country? Mr. Curry, are you from a different village? Oh, ho, ho, originally, yes. But when I was little, my country went to war and we were forced to run away because we were cowards. On my travels, we found the castle, and we live here now. My old country is long gone. Defeated, because we all ran away. Wow, sounds really tough. Well, I was small, and I don't even remember much of that time anyway. My mother always told us we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the king of the castle. 
<laughs> Mr. Corey. I'll never be able to tell these two apart. Thanks for the curry coquette. Not at all. Please come again. I am your twin. I have a mustache. I will always be grateful for what your people did for us, the castle. Curry coke smells so good. I am not even hungry, but I feel like eating wood. Thanks, little girl. Uh, a special price today is cheaper than usual. On what? Ooh, meats. It's really good. Is there more shops down there? Hmm. Doesn't look like it. <gasps> what is that exquisite smell? That delicious mouth watering aroma. Oh, you mean this? It's called a curry croquette. And boy, is it good. Jug man, excuse me, but. Could you do halfsies on that? No, even a Bible will do. I'll even pay you for it. Mm, let me think, and I'll give you the whole thing. I can't go against my orders. Please, I'm begging you. Don't torture a hungry soldier. Now that's funny. I just ate one because I'm hungry. I'm ar I I'm already hungry again. I guess I'll just have to eat this one too. Wait, wait. I'll tell you where the curry kits are. Are they sold nearby? Yep, across the bridge over there you'll find Mr. Curry's shop. It smells so good you can't miss it. <laughs> Alright, I should go and buy one myself. Uh, but just once my job is done. Yeah, if they have any left by then, by the time the day is usually their sell out. Really? Is that so? Uh, young man, could you, I have a favor to ask you. What? It is my sworn duty not to let people through here. I know that. But I just remembered about an emergency that I needed someone to take my place here. Really? Yes, really. And you look like an honest, strong young man, fit for the job. Please, won't you stand guard? So people to stop passing through? Won't take long. Sure, leave it to me. I'm in your debt, young man. Just one thing. Whatever you do, do not go down the path. Okay. Let's go down the path. <laughs> How did Angard beat me here? Angard's there too. And so I pretended. Oh. And so I pretended to injure. Be injured to trick the monster into letting its guard down. And when he did, my great disciple Turbot dealt the, fi the finishing blow. I see. Very impressive, Angard. Indeed. So about letting me return to the castle. First, Angard, did you notice anything during your fight with the monster? Notice anything? Hmm. Huh. Oh, there was there was something odd. Odd. How did the monster get into the village in the first place? It's strange, isn't it? This village has no entrances for a monster to make its way in. The only way it could have come through is through the castle gates, and the castle gates are heavily guarded. Maybe I'll make this guy have a British accent. Indeed. That is a question that has crossed my mind as well. An astute observation, Angard. Heh. <laughs> well, just doing my job. And so, Angard, for your next mission, I need you to stay here and find out the, how the monster entered the village. Is that clear? Oh! <gasps> I'm curious about this disciple of yours. It's the first time I've heard of you having a disciple before, Sir Angard. Indeed. What kind of person is he, I wonder? I'd like to meet him myself. Uh, well, um... Turbot! Ah, are you the disciple that defeated the monster? Yeah, that's me. Angard, I didn't know you were just pretending to be hurt. That's great! Uh, let's talk about this later, Turbot. <laughs> it appears you're around the same size as I am. I think you faced a monster so much bigger than yourself. How a brave soul you must be. Um, thank you very much. No, we are the ones in debt to you, Turbot. 
thank you for protecting the village. Yet, you're just a child. Weren't your parents worried that something... That you did something so dangerous? Mom. Mom got on my case about it, but it's all good. Single mother and all, you know. I see, but... And I don't have a dad. In case if anyone was wondering... That's a per that's a topic of the conversation that I'm sure the direction of this conversation was going. Uh, did anyone want to be my dad? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Besides, after finding that red stone in the mines, I could feel like doing anything. Man, this kid just doesn't shut up. So even the monsters aren't a big deal. A stone? What are you talking about? Your Excellency, we must leave soon. We are running late. Hmm. All right. So a bit we mean to go now, but let me thank you once again. I am pleased to know that you are young people like you in this village. Thank you so much. Anytime, sir. Smack that bad boy. Blast it! I thought I could return to the castle once the monster was defeated. Now they want me to find out where it's from. You got a new mission? Wow, cool. You boys! Do you know of any secret exits in this village? Any place a monster could have snuck in? No. There were. We wouldn't be here. What do you expect me to start searching in the first place? Well, if a monster was here, it has to be some way it got in, right? Hey, Nom. It's fun. There's a lot of text, <laughs> to be honest. Battle systems take a bit of, bit of time, but it's really strategic, so. Let's split up and search the area. All right, I'll find the entrance first. No, I will. Wait, wait, children. We can't split up this time. It's better to stick together. Turbot, you lead. Huh? Why? You saw that monster, didn't you? What would it do if I were to find one if you were alone? Only Turbot has the power to take on something like that. I... I can fight one, too, if he can. Don't overestimate yourself. Even if you don't want to admit it, the truth is, I wouldn't be able to defeat one either. Eh. Uh, so, I'm gonna find the monster came from. Do it with Turbot. You find anything that might be helpful, you know, find me at the tavern. I'll be getting drunk. You boys, don't you go pulling dangerous stunts. At least while I'm drunk anyways. See? He's gonna make drunk. I like strategy and reading and voices. That's how I naturally do it in my head, so... He's gone. So what now? Are we going to search the place? Wait, before that, Derbit! What? Let's find how the monster got in. I'll be the leader. What makes you think you can be the leader? That prey's going to your head? Fight me! I'll show you whether to beat a monster I want to. Oh, you're gonna... Oh, you gonna... I'm gonna fight you? Oh. Alright, so we'll fight Maddock and then we'll end the stream. Eh, let's fight you, dude. Fight, let's fight! So, if you're here now, now I'll explain how it works. So, you move around a map, you get to have support. Um, this is probably a good idea to use. So people are placed throughout the map, and they give you um, little support benefits. You have ideas. These are all ideas. You use power points to make ideas turn into actual action items. They're called isits, and then you turn them into dazits. So this is going to cost us zero, so we want to turn this into a dazit. And our goal is to break all of his stuff. So, we only have three power, so we might as well use it all this turn. My two attack on my tough guard will defeat his light blow, because he only has one on that. He'll take my defense down to two from four. And then when his next attack comes through, he's going to destroy my tough guard, but we do the attack at the same time. My two will destroy his, which is going to leave him open for an attack. So we definitely need to have this. And then... Let's just get an extra guard. Um, look at that. 
Beautiful. You'll see. The yellow, uh, yellow is its and does its, um, go until they break. If you use a red to break, uh, and it doesn't get broken, it gets used up for the turn, or for the entire turn. Oh, he's got to use something powerful. He's got that purple going on. Okay, so we have this now. This is called Pelt. It does deals one damage to enemy Dazits, and I gain one idea. So if I do this, both of his stuff's got to get destroyed. But since he has Angry Eyes on the other one, he's got to get another Dazit, I think. Yeah. So. We have two power. We might as well use it. Gain one improvised idea. Gain plus one all Dazits. All Dazits gain one idea. Oh, I just noticed. So this is a plus one to defense. And I gain an idea. Yeah, so let's use this. This is plus one to offense. Let's use this. Yeah, I'll use that next round. For right now, I can use this. He's not going to break my thing, and then I can attack him with throw. In order to attack his hearts, you have to make him break every one of his Dazits. And then every turn you do, you gain more power. Uh, next turn, I'll be able to use four power because it'll upgrade. So I expected him to do something crazy like this, which is fine. We have three power. You still have my guard up. So if I use this, that'll destroy his thrust, take his defense down on this one by two, and then my sight guard should be able to destroy it, and then I get to attack him again. Then I'll use psych up, and it'll get a plus one to attack. Guy's the Gary Oak of the game. Oh, I got one Eureka point. Sweet, so I can buff up the last part of my shield. Good to know. Ah, why can't I win? How'd you get so strong all of a sudden? You're cheating, aren't you? Uh, I don't know. I don't really know the reason, but I have this red stone. It gives me power. Is that the same as a protection stone that we have all over town? Like those. And those? Uh, I don't think so. I don't feel any power from the protection stones. Well, where did you get that stone then? In the coal mines, but it's kind of dangerous in there, so only coal miners can go in. The coal mines, huh? I got it. <laughs> hey, I told you only miners are allowed. Anyway, the point is, I'm not losing to you. I'm only losing to that darn stone. If I had one, then... Uh-oh, sounds like he's going to try to go to the mines tomorrow. 
Whoa, it's already getting late. I should get home before Mom gets mad. The next day. Yesterday, the minister said I was brave. I'm getting closer and closer to becoming a soldier. Tarabit? What? Pazmina needs your help in the farm today. Head over there and help her out, why you won't you? Huh? I'm a bit worried about Maddox, but I can't get scolded by Mom again. I guess I'll just do what I'm told. All right, Mom. I'll go help out. Well, aren't you a good boy today? When you get home, remember to help me with the chores, too. I haven't given you my blessing to become a soldier yet, you know. How did she know about my plan? I'm going. All right. Stay safe, my little beautiful red-headed boy. All right, we're gonna go and save. All right, guys. That is Little Town Hero. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to watch some community because I'm almost done with it. I know, I'm just getting on community now. And if you guys uh, are interested in following, go ahead and follow, no big deal. And if you're not, um, I will be streaming periodically. I don't have um, a necessary set schedule yet, but I think I'm gonna focus a little bit more on this game, uh, Little Town Hero, up until Pokemon comes out, which is gonna be next Friday. Uh, so we just have almost a week. Actually, a week. Today's Friday, actually. So we got a week until Pokemon. So thank you guys so much for watching, and tune in next time.